Hi, Libra. So let's tap in here, Libra. Let's see what's going on. So I just did Leo's reading and I just flipped in this deck on naughty pictures. I just said something was being done to your pictures or something was being done to Leo's pictures and Leo's reading or something like that. And I also said somebody was down low. Here we have same sex love here. So somebody could be doing something with your pictures, Libra. I was getting that when I was in Leo's reading. Yeah, receipts. So some of y'all getting ready to find out, yeah, Divine Feminine, that somebody here was doing something with your pictures. And so now somebody here is trying to switch something up. Or they're going to act like, oh, ain't nothing happened or whatever the fuck this is. Or some of you guys have the receipts about something. I don't know, but let's see. So let's tap in. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your... um. Super thanks, Libra. I'm sending all that love back to you guys tenfold. Okay. Let's see what this is. Let's see. <laughs> Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. <laughs> Excuse me, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Libra and our loved ones. Me and my loved ones will turn it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Libras. And protect me as I channel the messages for Libra. Some of you guys, Libra, you could be in a twin flame dynamic. You could be with your twin here for some of you. see what's going on for Libra okay spiritual narcissist first card out so annoying what else <laughs> we got single woman not the committed type and then we got liar the bottom of the deck is crazy someone's been acting crazy or will and family. So this could be somebody in your family getting ready to act crazy or somebody's getting ready to act out because you're getting ready to start a family. Okay, one or the other. This could be something going on around Halloween with this pumpkin showing up on this card. So at the end of October, what's Halloween? October 31st or the 30th or whatever. So we have a lack of emotional intelligence. So this could be somebody that's getting ready to act dumb. They cry for help. Somebody here got a problem emotionally. They don't know how to control their emotions. They could be a gaslighter, very emotionally manipulative. So I don't know. Let's see, Libra. For some of you, somebody here lied and said that you was not the committed type. You didn't. You're not in a commitment because you're a hoe and nobody wants to date you. <laughs> what i just heard <laughs> like i'm dead ass <laughs> let's see though yeah for eight of pentacles in reverse virgo so somebody here is trying to ruin your reputation or cause you to be unfocused in a situation okay hmm or somebody, somebody here is doing something repetitively and it's not working. It's not going anywhere. Somebody's not getting results for what they're doing. So this King of Swords in reverse, this bitch came out of Leo reading. So go watch Leo Libra. This could be another Gemini Libra Aquarius. Or they got this shit in their chart. A man, a man with this shit in their chart, they're just karmic as fuck. They're a loser. So, yeah, somebody here is lying. <clears throat> this, okay, this is spiritual narcissist. Yeah, the judgment in reverse. Yeah, false gossip, false rumors. Fucking, um, false accusations. So somebody is falsely accusing you of something. With this judgment in the reverse, this is a lack of forgiveness. So somebody here doesn't want to forgive or 
that keep repeating the same lesson here, going through the same shit, or this is what they want you to do, go through the same shit, or have this lack of self-awareness, or they want you to doubt your decisions. What spiritual narcissist with the judgment in reverse? We, uh, oh, okay, the hierophant in reverse. You know, this shit coming out a lot, too, about this person. Yeah, for some of you, somebody in your family, they can ready to go to jail. Because you getting ready to send them to jail, or they getting ready to go to jail at some point. I don't know. Somebody here broke the law. They broke spiritual law if they were doing magic or whatever. Because definitely what goes around comes around. So we got Taurus energy here with the higher from reverse. Yeah, somebody did something that went against the law here. And they're a spiritual narcissist, yeah, but they've acted out too. They acted in the public eye. or they, I said the public eye, I didn't mean to say that. So somebody here could be in the public eye, but they've acted in... They've acted on their spiritual narcissism. Whatever actions they've taken in this physical 3D plane, uh, yeah, it's going to land their ass in jail <laughs> with the Eight of Swords. <laughs> like, dead ass. Yeah, the Eight of Swords and the, and the Hermit. So somebody here is scared that they're getting ready to be under investigation because they are. They are, yeah, the devil. They're scared. What's the... So... <laughs> It's clear that somebody's doing something unethical with the higher from the reverse. What's this judgment reverse? Yeah, the death call reverse. Mm, this is major. With all these, with three of these majors coming out, Scorpio. You could be on the cusp, Libra, of Scorpio. So yeah, because somebody don't want to change their ways or they refuse to let something go, they just don't want to heal. They just raggedy like that. Yeah, with the three of cups in reverse, with, with a bunch of hoes. There's a bunch of gossiping ass hoes here. So definitely it could be a, a, some sort of defamation of character or whatever the fuck this is for sure. You can get locked up for that or fined or something like that. I don't know. But I know you can go to jail for it though. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, so this is gossiping. A lot of gossiping. What's this three of cups in reverse? Yeah, look at that bitch ass coming back out. Three of Wands reverse. You guys will be seeing three through three. King of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, and you ain't did shit to this person. Nothing. <clears throat> I feel like this person, whoever this is, they want you to need them like really bad. And you don't. And I, I still feel like with the Queen of Cups, you're still being kind. You're still being nice because you know that this person is a liar. It's like, it's like you know how to play this game with them and you're not really playing a game. You're doing things that are working in your favor, actually. So this person thinks that they're getting one up on you. You being kind or nice or not feeding into something that they're doing is actually working against, is working for you, but it's definitely not helping their ass out at all. It's not. So I feel like the key to whatever this is, to defeat whatever this narcissist is, the spiritual narcissist, because with a spiritual narcissist, you cannot move a certain way. You cannot lash out or you cannot fight back because you're giving your energy. Why would you want to do that? It's a spiritual narcissist. So they know how to manipulate you subconsciously. So why would you, you got to know how to do some reverse shit on this person. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. So definitely a counterpart is here showing up. So you could be in a twin flame union. Is what I just said. So this King of Swords in Reverse could be talking shit about you. They're gossiping. Definitely a corrupt leader or whatever this bitch is. That think they, I don't know what they think that they are. Or who they think that they are, really. Yeah. So somebody here is lying. They're just lying to a group of hoes to get them to gossip about you. To get them to say nasty shit to you. Or whatever. Yeah. Three of Wands in Reverse. It's somebody here that don't want to look at their own shit. They don't want to look in the mirror at themselves. They're very hypocritical. They can point out every flaw, everything about somebody else. But when it comes down to their slow ass, it's, it's, they, they forgot or they don't know or they can't figure it out. <laughs> they don't want to own up to shit that they do. Somebody's a loser. Yeah, lack of accountability. That's it. That's all. Yeah, so the three of wands in reverse too is a lack of growth or expansion or not having a sense of insight or lack of lack of insight here. Uh, 
<sighs> What's this? Um, I feel like people are talking about this person now. This person is getting some heavy karma because you're sitting up here quiet and minding your business and this bitch over here is talking shit about you. The people are noticing that this person is a liar. And this person could be losing friends. This could be them like actually being lonely and miserable. Mm. That's what this is. What's this damn high from reverse? Like nobody's going to want to be their fucking friend. Because they're just a two-faced punk. <laughs> That's what the fuck is going on. The four of cups in reverse, cancer moon. Yeah, so something moving out of a stalemate or you seizing an opportunity. What's the heart in reverse, four of cups reverse? And it's crazy because it's, it's crazy like how you're playing it because it's really smart. You're still being very kind. Like you're not, and it's genuine too with the queen of cups upright. Like, you're not being a bitch or you're not being nasty or none of that when you could. That's because you know how to play this damn spiritual narcissist. You know what game they're playing. Very intelligent. Yeah, the hangman here in the reverse. I mean, uh, not in the reverse. It's upright. But Pisces here. So, yeah, this is you shifting your perspective with the hangman. Releasing something or letting something go. So, maybe you're learning how to forgive. This is what this is. You're still being open or receptive or kind. You're not being a bitch about it. You're, so you're doing the opposite. With the higher from the reverse, you're doing something that's going against kind of like societal norms or you're finding alternative solutions to your issues. You just know how to move. You don't give a fuck that this person is talking shit about you or not. You know that they are. And now what? What's going to happen after that? I feel like you're just letting spirit handle it. Yeah, you know that they're gossiping about you and they're being exposed for it. Yeah, this betrayal is being exposed. It is. So however, whichever way that this is, or they exposing themselves by acting like this. Yeah. For being childish or dumb or whatever the fuck. And they're trying to play innocent, but they know that they did something nasty behind your back. And it's like, you don't give a fuck. I feel like you have a child with this person as well. And they're doing their child injustice. They're going to have to explain that to their fucking child when they get older and try to figure out what the fuck wrong with their retarded ass. They're going to have to figure that shit out. Their children is going to want to talk to them about why the fuck you did that to my mama. Why the fuck you did that to my daddy. <laughs> like, and I feel like it is what it is. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's like this person is, they expose themselves for their na because of their nasty behavior. You don't have to do anything with a spiritual narcissist. They're going to expose themselves every time. They look dumb as fuck. They do. So let's see. What's the hangman real quick? Okay, yeah, we got the uh the eight of wands. I just saw the sun, the high priestess is poking out in the six of wands. So yeah, you could be saying something. Maybe this could be you saying something here. But there's some communication that's gonna shift your perspective, or this is like a shift in energy. A positive shift, a pos like a positive shift forward. What's the hangman with the eight of wands? Or somebody here is under judgment for judging you harshly because of a third party. One or the other. Yeah, the five of pentacles in the reverse. So you're releasing. You're letting this go. You're feeling abandoned or left out in the cold or feeling hurt or betrayed by somebody. Or if you had a physical ailment, that's healing. If you had like a job issue where you were homeless or you were broke or whatever, I feel like that's getting ready to change too. Or you changed your life around because you shifted your perspective. Just period. <laughs> Unlike somebody else. Oh, well. Yeah. What's four cups reverse? What's moving? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So a mother figure, somebody here that's a healer, you could be a healer or you could be like a white witch. You could definitely be psychic, very empathetic, okay, and sensitive to energies. But you're grounded, you're secure. Something here is moving forward with your money. You're very creative and resourceful and generous. You're kind, like something is moving forward here with you. It really is. And your stability, your security, or just this is, uh, this has something to do with your self-esteem, your, um... What else am I picking up? I'm getting second house energy. So Taurus. I don't know. 
What's for a cut your breath with the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, the Six of Swords. Exactly. You're healing and you're moving on to peaceful and calmer waters. And you're grounded while doing so. And somebody from your past is still obsessed with you. They're still talking shit. The, the, the devil with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Wands. This person just wakes up every day talking shit about you because they bitter. They're bitter and they're jealous. This King of Swords in reverse. They're so bitter. And they know that they betrayed you. Now they're sitting up here nervous or they're scared or whatever. Or this is what they're trying to make you feel like. I feel like you don't care. Yeah, the imprint in reverse. A narcissist. Mm hmm. The magician in reverse. You are doing all this weak ass magic. What the fuck is this single woman here? Not the committed type. What is this? The high priestess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the hierophant in the reverse. So a fallen twin. Yeah, somebody here that's karmic as fuck in this lifetime but was sent to take you out and hurt you. It's a lesson in it, though. I feel like you learned it. Yeah, you gained a lot of wisdom. And you have a story to tell, and I feel like you should tell it. Yeah, you should air shit out. I would. It is It is what it is. What single woman with the high priestess? Yeah, and the two of swords. Libra moon. <sighs> Pisces. So yeah, somebody is what? They want to call a truce or somebody is like stuck in between a rock and a hard, a hard place or it's like they're in denial that you're a high priestess. Like, oh, you can't be a high priestess. You can't do this. You can't do that. Or they just don't want to see it. They're in denial about something. And I feel like this is really them trying to hide. Like they know that you know things about them or you know what they're doing. But they're like, I don't know. They're like weird. <laughs> they're really weird. This could be like a choice between two. Or somebody here is at a stalemate. They're at a stalemate here. They're stuck because you're a high priestess. You know what the fuck they're doing. Just period. What's the high priestess? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Somebody gossiping here about a high priestess. <laughs> or trying to betray a high priestess. Uh, yeah, what's the high priestess with the Ten of Swords? It's your fallen twin over here with that hierophant in the reverse. Your karmic twin from a past life. Somebody here that just won't leave you alone in this lifetime. And they don't want you to find your real twin. They want you to stay stuck in this fucking karmic cycle. So they can hurt you and do everything else. Like, it's weird. Really weird. Two of Pentacles here with the... Yeah. For some of you guys, this is them being talked about. Or this is you. If there's gossip and slander here. Somebody trying to curse you. And play around in your subconscious. Like they're cursing you. They're speaking negative over your life. So this is a curse. That's what this is. But you're adapting well to these changes with the two of pentacles. They're trying to really destiny swap is what I'm getting. By cursing you. And getting other people in on it. And they're hoping that it will kind of like reach your subconscious. And they can, you know, cause fear and anxiety or whatever. Yeah, that's that's what their goal is here. Two of swords. Two of Pentacles. So you guys will be seeing two, two, two. Yeah, what's the... Somebody's a fucking punk asshole. I cannot stand this damn person. What's the Ten of Swords? I just don't got the energy today to be cursing bitches out. Yeah. Libra, Saturn with the Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody's heartbroken. So all they do is sit back and talk about you all fucking day. What's Ten of Swords with the Three of Swords? The lovers in a reverse. Yeah, there's a breakup. Or somebody's pillow talking. They're going around with false lovers here talking shit about you. I guess. Excuse me. Something is coming to an abrupt end with something, though. There's a breakup. I feel like you're... Your intuition is on point, though, about something. There could be somebody that you know or this person here. You know that this... Like, a lot of shit is not coming to you physically. Like, you're getting a lot of answers intuitively. Something is coming to an abrupt end with a third party and this person that talks shit about you. Something is coming to an end. There's a disunion or discord or there's a breakup. Or this could be subconsciously you are getting rid of any self-limiting beliefs or any imprints that somebody has put on your... What is it? Your um, your blueprint in your past life is clearing out right now. Okay, if you can kind of like get what I'm saying. 
whatever somebody did in a past life to do to get you somewhere or to get you caught up, it's like clearing out right now. There's a deep betrayal here, a deep hurt or deep pain that's getting ready to end or it's over. But I'm getting to, if that's the case, if you've already gotten past that, it, this is a third party energy. Somebody here, whoever this is, they're just not taking accountability and they have major trust issues. Somebody here that's unsure of their sexuality. They could be with somebody too and they're going through a fucking breakup. Now this person is lonely. They're miserable, but they still want to hold on to something. They still want to keep lying. <laughs> like this person, they just don't give a fuck. Somebody here is just, they just pathetic and they play victim a lot. They don't care. They don't care what they're losing. They're like, yeah, well, I'm not going to let this person feel like they won type shit. Somebody's a dumbass. <laughs> like, ain't nobody even trying to win shit. Just, this person is, they crazy. So there's disharmony or discord somewhere with the lovers in reverse. A lack of peace. Just dumb shit. What's the two of pentacles? Or oh, this is what's clearing out of your, your energy subconsciously. You ever being, you ever having to connect to this person ever again or ever having to deal with a fuck shit, it's over with. You ever having to feel any kind of spell work that they're doing or whatever they're trying to do it's not working yeah because you're healing five of pentacles five of cups in reverse rather then yeah, you don't have to worry about it they're gonna have to live in in their own misery yeah because you're the empress and they decided to stay the emperor in the reverse a narcissist so what's the two of cups two of pentacles i meant what's two of pentacles yeah yeah so this king of cups could be maybe somebody here that genuinely loves you or this, somebody here is two-faced as fuck. They're really fucking two-faced. They're still bitter about a relationship or whatever this is. Or now somebody's trying to be nice. It's like, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> I feel like that's what the fuck the T is. Fuck off and fuck you. What's the two of, two of pentacles with the king of cups? Or this could be a spirit guy showing up. Yeah, the page of swords in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like you're not talking to somebody. You're, you've gone no contact with someone with the page of swords reverse or... Somebody here is scatterbrained. But this is like gossiping too, though. So for some of you, you also have a connection here that there's a feminine third party that was trying to break you and somebody up. But I just feel like they're not for you anyways. Somebody here lied on you and said, oh, they're going to cheat on you or they're going to lie. They're going to fuck somebody on you and they're going to blah, blah, blah. And I feel like somebody here listened to the gossip. They judged you. Listening to their ex or a third party or their friend group. And they missed out on an opportunity. And you showed this person nothing but genuine love here. That's what I'm getting. But I'm also seeing too. The Queen of Cups to the King of Cups came back out. Uh, yeah, let me see. Yeah, it's somebody here that you're not talking to. Somebody's doing magic over your love life to confuse you about these two people. There's somebody here. There, there's somebody that you're not speaking to right now. And you're connecting to your actual person. So somebody's like trying to confuse you. What's this page of Souls Reverse? Yeah, to make you choose between two. Yeah, what's the page of Souls Reverse? It's because somebody is trying to... They're trying to trigger something within you to so that way you can make certain decisions and that will like back up their lies about you. That's what this is that I'm getting with this person. Yeah, like they're trying somebody has to back up their lies or back up something that they've been saying about you. So they're trying to do magic to steer you in another direction. That's what this is. What's the page of swords reverse, man? Yeah. Uh, yeah, nine of swords. A lot of anxiety, paranoia, fear. With this page of swords in reverse, some sort of plan not working. So now somebody's stuck there at a stalemate. They look dumb. They look stupid. What's page of swords in reverse? Nine of swords. Gemini, Mars. Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, you're guarding. You're protecting yourself. You're defending yourself from something or someone. You don't. You don't fuck with this person or whatever, and you never will again. <laughs> you never will again. What's this? Uh, you guys would be saying nine, nine, nine. What's the two of swords, man? Yeah, the king of pentacles reverse. What's two of swords, king of pentacles reverse? 
and the Knight of Cups. So this is this this King of Pentacles in reverse is like they're really this is a spiritual narcissist that could be in some sort of like group that's doing the spell work on you. And this is your ex. Whoever this King of Pentacles is is your ex. So they they're trying to they're watching you to see what you're getting confused about. What are your weaknesses? So that way you can go backwards. They're trying to confuse you with your love life. They're doing magic on your love life here. Just period. And your guides are guiding you somewhere with the Six of Swords. And they're telling you to keep moving forward. You're moving out of a stalemate in something. So I feel like with that high from the reverse, that could be you going against the grain. This King of Pentacles has something to do with, with somebody that you dated in the past. Whoever this, this ex of yours is, they decided that they was going to exploit you. I keep getting that. This King of Pentacles in reverse decided that they was going to exploit you here to someone that you dated. That's not even your person. So somebody here thought that they knew somebody that you was going to be with and they don't know who the fuck you're going to be with. Yeah, it's like this person thought that they had something all mapped out about your journey or the process here or something that you was going to do and it went the opposite way. So they look dumb because it's, I'm getting the King of Pentacles in reverse Knight of Cups. This person was watching your love life. They're watching you and they're monitoring you. Yeah. And now you're with the King of Cups, Queen of Cups. That's your counterpart where you and there's, there's true love here. And then this King of Swords in reverse. Either this the same person or... I'm getting, everybody here has to be quiet. I feel like everybody's quiet right now because they know that they did wrong. I feel like this King of Pentacles decided to, they decided to do something or find somebody that you dated. They went searching or digging and it turned this person off from you. But it was supposed to do that because it helped you find your actual counterpart. So they did nothing but help you out at the end of the day. It's what I'm getting. Like whoever this is was hoping that if they gossiped about you or if they exploited you or, or, or bribe other people to do things to you, that it will turn you off from your actual counterpart. Your actual counterpart is who you're with now. <laughs> and it's not who the fuck this man is right here that's in the reverse. Somebody here judged you along with this King of Pentacles in reverse. Two men. And this, uh, this man right here is your ex. This King of Swords right here is somebody that you dated in the past. As well as this ex of yours. But obviously you dated other people before you found your counterpart. Duh. But I'm saying, yeah, so this person, this person went back to somebody from their past. It's like your ex decided to team up with some ops of yours to get you and somebody to break up. But it was meant for it to be that way because that's not your person. <laughs> like, that's not even your person. So they look dumb. I'm also getting if this is the same guy, they're married and they're cheating. They want to date you genuinely, but they're married. They're stuck in something. So that's an automatic no. Yeah, it's like you're the empress here. You're free and you're unbothered. You don't give a fuck about who's gossiping or who said whatever the fuck they said. Good for them because you're free with the sun. It is what it is. What's the King of Pentacles reverse? Somebody here is broke as fuck and they raggedy sitting up here trying to like. Somebody here could go both ways. They like men. The King of Pentacles in reverse, they. Whoever this is, if this is a man here, they want to date the man the men that you come across they don't even like you because they don't like women they're like men this is what i'm getting like what's the king of pentacles in reverse the sun yeah they've been exposed for something what's the king of pentacles reverse with the sun or this is you being like you're free you don't have to worry about this person no more or something like that you don't give a fuck about what they're saying and what they're not saying yeah look knight of pentacles in reverse somebody is materialistic they're superficial with no fucking money what is the science behind that? I keep trying to figure that out. Like, you bitches are so pressed for money and you don't have none. It's crazy. <laughs> I'll be confused. I'll be really fucking confused. Yeah, so now somebody is stuck. They're at a stalemate. They're, they're stuck in between a rock and a hard place here, period. Because now I feel like that Knight of Cups is who you're dating now. And they can't get in the way of this. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles is somebody here that can't finish, like they can't finish what they started. And they lazy, they don't have any work ethic, no drive, no ambition. This person is just a loser, like bad. Real bad. What's the Knight of Cups?
Yeah, the temperance. What's the Knight of Cups here with the temperance? Exactly. The Sagittarius and the Ten of Wands. Sag, uh, Saturn and Sagittarius. Yeah, so Sag here is significant. Yeah, I feel like somebody... Yeah, look, I was getting ready to say change your plans. So somebody here somebody here really tried to set y'all up. That's crazy as fuck. Like, they really did. So I feel like you reconcile with your actual soulmate. The person that you're supposed to be with, you reconcile with them already. And now there's peace and balance and harmony being restored in this union. Yeah, because now you're the empress. You've learned a lesson that you needed to learn. So this bitch think that they fucking had you trapped or had you stuck or had you sending the wrong people to you to date so that way they can weigh on your self-esteem and make you feel like, oh, well, let me just go and be a hoe. Let me just go and act out. I feel like that's what they wanted you to do. So that way they can live in your energy, basically, and, and it, it will back up their lies. And it didn't work. It went the opposite way. Your journey went completely different and they look dumb. They look stupid. What's the what's the Ten of Wands? Yeah, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so is this bitch. They're, bo they're both burdened. This Queen of Swords in reverse and the King of Swords. So, okay, so it's two people getting karma. This King of Swords, Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like this bitch right here, they both bitches to me. <laughs> they're both. This King of Swords right here in reverse listened to this King of Pentacles in reverse about you and decided to go back to a karmic. So now they're stuck over there with this bitch, with this lying asshole that was in on it too. And this King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody you used to date. Y'all were close. Like this could be somebody you got kids with, you were married to or something like that. This person here decided to, they're the ones that exploited you. And they were in on something with whoever this is right here, their ex. This King of Swords in reverse that judged you harshly, they were in on something this King of Pentacles was in on something with this King of Swords in reverse is X, which is this Queen of Swords in reverse. So now they're both burdened. They, all of them look stupid as fuck. They look dumb. They look really stupid. Like every last one of these people that participated in this shit, they look crazy as hell. Yeah. So this is a setup gone wrong and a backfire is getting ready to hit everybody. Everybody's burdened because of these lies. And I feel like it's all weighing them down because they're not saying anything. They're not saying anything. These people are holding on to whatever it is. This lie is, and it's eating their ass up inside because they know what they did. They know what they did in the past. Yeah, that's why everybody's scared with the devil and the six of cups. This hateful ass fucking energy that took over their fucking, I guess they body with their weird possessed ass. This shit, they stuck over there. And you won. You got a victory, so you're free. Now you're with your counterpart and y'all getting ready to be happy. So that's what it is. Okay, so what's liar? Yeah, four of wands in reverse. Exactly. Somebody here lied about a twin flame relationship. They lied and said that, oh, well, I know who they're getting ready to be with. Or I know, bitch, no, the fuck it's not. Somebody here really, like, they really made themselves look dumb. They made themselves look stupid. They did. And I feel like Spirit had your energy cloaked or they had it to make it so, like, they got tricked. And they did, got, they did get tricked. Yeah, confirmation. Every last one of them got tricked. They look crazy. This is a whole community here for four wands in reverse. I feel like too, there's a common contract that's over between you and whoever this is that listen to this gossip. So yeah, this shit is over. What's the liar with the four wands reverse? Yeah, knight of wands in reverse. Yeah, whoever this is competing in a false ad. So, so this, this fucking, whoever this person right here that's competing, because it's definitely a man. They can live in close proximity to you. This person here lied to a whole group of people and said, yeah, I'm a twin flame or this is my relationship and this person is stalking me. They're following me. They're trying to take something from me and it's not the truth. So now everything is being exposed and somebody's being seen as a reckless loser that's abusive and competing as a grown ass man. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, this emperor in reverse doing this weak ass fucking magic. What's this four wands in reverse? Yeah, the devil. Exactly. This is a whole community or a whole group of losers that are into dark shit, into dark arts. There could be a whole group of people too that's scared about something now. They're scared. What's the four wands reverse with the devil? Yeah, eight of swords. <laughs> a lot of fear. A lot of fear. A lot of it. Yeah, so now somebody here is stuck and binded to something or they're binded to whatever this devil energy is. Whatever this is. 
the four of wands in reverse, somebody here could be homeless or this is like a lack of support or something like that. They're getting kicked out of this fucking community. Y'all know that. What's this, what's this Knight of Wands reverse? The Seven of Wands and the Magician. Yeah, your manifestations now, they're being protected. Whatever you're manifesting is protected. And the drama is ending here. And you won. You got a victory. <laughs> like, it's just plain and simple. Since somebody wanted to compete so fucking bad or be in a, a secret competition, you won. <laughs> like, somebody is pathetic. They really are. They really are. Yeah. Wow. So I feel like, like I said, this King of Pentacles in reverse, whoever this is, like your longtime ex lover, they had something to do with a breakup here that you experienced in your journey with a particular person. They really did. What's this? So we have Hanging Tough, Aries. Willingness to let go of control, time of patience and reflection, temporary pause, refusing to back down, potential transformation, waiting patiently, waiting patiently, not letting go of a situation or dream they want to attain. Yeah, this is you. You're not, you're not letting it go. Yeah, then we have Jupiter, naivety, overly optimistic, leading to errors in judgment, acting superior, prone to overestimating resources or overextending beyond limits. Be careful of squandering resources, reckless behavior. Overly confident, moving without backup plan, ignoring red flags and career and love. Yeah. What else? Yeah, somebody here was naive. And you you was willing to let go and move on with this, whoever this King of Swords is in reverse, but they didn't. They decided to listen to gossip about you and go back to a third party. It's either they ex, this king of swords in reverse, this bitch right here, this queen of swords in reverse, found your ex and decided to team up together to block this connection with this king of swords in reverse and to get them to turn their back on you. Or your ex, the one that found this bitch and found out who you dated and they decided to do that. But like I said, that's not your person, so it don't matter. <laughs> they both wasted their fucking time with their broke asses. They both wasted their time. Somebody is so pressed. Both of them. They both pressed. As fuck. Spirit, that's way too many. I'm not reading all of them. So we got satisfied here towards energy. Then we got sad and rigidity. Yeah, somebody here getting ready to learn a very valuable lesson about minding their fucking business. Yeah, and then we have pity party, Capricorn energy, Aries, thrill seeker, and then we have illuminate. Yeah, Capricorn, because something is being illuminated. It is. Able to see clear truths revealed, radiating love, gaining knowledge, paving the way for prosperity and love, intuitive. Open, privy to some secretive news to help you expand secretly. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, this is you moving in silence here. Something been illuminated towards you, uh, to you, and you just been moving silently. <laughs> like, and that's that's what's worked for you. You've just stuck to whatever was working. Yeah, Taurus, Gemini, Cusper. We got risky. Complacent during good times, relying too heavily on luck, not contributing to life, follows the crowd, resisting change, bad luck, insecure, jumps in without thinking of consequences, gambles, does not trust their own intuition, blinded by faith instead of logic. And then we got prosperity, Sagittarius. New job offer, money will come quickly, ideas are turning into something tangible, building for future, manifesting, keep your eyes open for chances, entrepreneurial, and invest your money. Hmm. <sighs> Libra. I don't know, man. Very interesting story. So I don't know. Maybe this. Let me know if this resonates. Okay. I don't know. But like, um, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.